Okay, question 26 of the Black Talent Boys 2020 channel. Consider the curve given by y equals 3x minus x cubed minus 1 for the domain from minus 3 to 2 inclusive. Find the stationary points and determine their nature. So to, to determine the stationary points, we need to find the first derivative and make it equal to 0. So y dash is equal to 3 minus 3x squared. So stationary points is when y dash is equal to 0. So we've got 3 minus 3x squared is equal to 0. 3x squared is equal to 3. x squared is equal to 1. So x is minus 1. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3 lots of 1 minus 1 cubed minus 1, which is 3 minus 1 minus 1, which is 1. And when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 3 lots of minus 1 minus, minus 1 cubed minus 1. I'm just going to put down my calculator. So you have 3 lots of that minus that cubed minus 1, which is minus 3. So we've got 1, 1, and we've got minus 1, minus 3. Now we need to, so now we found the stationary points, we need to determine their nature. So I'm going to say, um, we need to find f double dash of x or y double dash. Let's do that. y double dash, the second derivative. That will be minus 6x. So when x is equal to negative 1, y double dash will equal to positive 6 or negative 6 times negative 1 which is positive 6, which is greater than 0, therefore it is a minimum. Turning point. When x is equal to positive 1, y double dash is equal to negative 6 times 1, which is negative 6, which is less than 0, therefore it's a maximum turning point. So, 1, 1 is a max turning point, and minus 1, minus 3 is a minimum turning point. Okay. Question B. Find the point of inflection. Well, to find the point of inflection, we need to make y double dash equal to 0. So we've got y double dash is negative 6x. Okay, we need to make that equal to 0. So minus 6x equals 0. Let me just write that here, point of inflection. So x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to three times 0, 0, minus 0, minus 1, it's minus 1. So it seems like 0 minus 1 is a point of inflection, but we'll need to double check with um, with the concavity. So I'm just gonna quickly draw up a table of values. Sorry, um, y double dash. Zero, minus one and one. We know when it's zero, y double dash is zero. Before when we calculated um, y double dash when x was negative one up here, we said it equal to 6, which is greater than 0. And when it was 1, it was negative 6. So I'll just write, that, write them in. 6 and negative 6. 
So this one's concave up because it's positive. This one's concave down because it's negative. So because they change concavity, we can tell that it is a point of inflection. Sketch the curve for minus 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2, showing all features. So I'm just going to draw my Cartesian plane from minus 3 to 2. So let's just say that's 1, 2, 3. Okay, this will not be to scale, but that's all right. Um, we need to work out what f of minus 3 is and what f of 2 is because they are our endpoints. So I'm just going to go back up to the original question. So if we have minus 3, we're going to be using three, lots of that, minus s cubed, minus one, which is 17. And if we are using two, three, lots of that, minus that cubed, minus one, it's minus three. So we've got 17 and minus three. Let's just say that's 17. Let's just say that uh, this is minus 3. Okay, our turning points, what were they? 1, 1, and minus 1, minus 3. Let's just say that's 1. And the point of inflection was at 0, minus 1. Let's just say that's minus 1. Okay, so now we've got everything we need. Concave up, and then we go concave down. And we stop there. Let's just label these points here as well. Minus 1, minus 3. We have 1, 1, 2, minus 3, minus 3, 17. No need to label this y-intercept, that's pretty obvious. That's it. Okay, and question D. What is the maximum value of this function for minus 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2? So the maximum value, according to this, we can see is 17.